Hello, it's Greg, uh, back with another video for my new host. Uh, today I want to cover how to look at your market to see what your competitors are doing, specifically what your competitors are charging. I'm on the iPhone app. Uh, first thing you want to do if you haven't already is switch to traveling. Then you want to enter a location. Today I'm going to be looking at Lawrence, Kansas. So you begin to type. Uh, you see Lawrence comes up. I click on Lawrence, Kansas. Then I click on find a place to stay. Skip through this. Skip through this. And then it's going to show me the market. You want to click up here on the upper right and enter your filters. For this particular host, they'll be putting on three bedrooms, three beds, and three bathrooms. So I enter that. And then... I find that I have 34 places to stay. I zero in on that and click uh, entire place. And that's type of place, entire place. Shows me I have 33 stays. I click on that. And then I start to click on the different prices to find out, to find that competitor with a similar property. Here's one here. I check availability, availability rather to see how their calendar's doing. Um, you can see they've got several weekends booked in April, I click on the available weekend, the 20th, checking out the 22nd, and then I click reserve. Don't worry, it's not going to charge your credit card, but it will show you how much this host is charging per night. For this particular weekend, uh, he's charging, uh, he or she is charging $278 and a $95 cleaning fee. I backed up, I looked at some other properties. Uh, this host is charging $215 a night for that property. Uh, and a third one uh, was charging about $150 uh, a night for weekday rates. So I put all those together, divide them by three or four to try to get an average price that I might start my listing at. And I like to grow my listing value, so I definitely want to make it sure that it's competitive. Um, and then grow the price as I get good ratings. Hope this has been helpful.